I just wish I could just let you see how they're just standing around you all day, 24-7. Wherever you go, they're all around you constantly, all the time. There's so many that can encompass the earth, vertical and horizontal. So I just want you to understand, you're not going to blame me for any other circumstances or okay. cataclysms that the earth restored. Now I want you to know that New York and California did not have those motherships flying over them just for the hell of it. Okay, just know that to be so. The population of Zionists that has been dogging the people of this earth is already programmed into the minds of these mercenaries and these in these spacecrafts that you guys see flying around they know exactly where everyone lives all you politicians that have set up this system to kill all us black men off the earth and to rape all the women and to put all the children in your little concentration camps and make them freaking zonked out on drugs and obedient and all I hear and obey. All that stuff that you guys had planned, we know about. And we will be seeing to the necessities of action that should be constructed around our knowledge of you guys desiring to do such a horrible thing. I just want to make that perfectly clear to everyone on this earth that all of the brutal shit that has been done to everyone by these Zionists, they are going to pay dearly for it. And you all need to just get a backbone and start standing up for yourself and buy the green light because the green light that I have in the bottles that I'm gonna sell you is the green light that you see in the fires encompassing the earth. Okay, it's the green that's in these green plants right here. And when my sister make her rounds, like I told you before, she's gonna be looking to see who was obedient and thought she was worth having a piece of because the ones of you who's going to keep going to the club all right and you're going to run up into mcdonald's and everything you're going to do other than buy your bottle a green light to show to the sun that you know it is the true owner of this earth and you want to pay homage to it see that's what it's about don't you worry about looking at my personification you worry about saving your personification and that's every individual on earth. That's everybody. I don't, you're not going to be able to say, well, he doesn't mean me because I'm this and I'm that. This son said everyone. And she said, I'm going to even get an 18 dollars because my city will be built. And the ones who doesn't see a necessity in helping me build my city, then I'm going to just take it as if they see the necessity to just disregard what I want. And I'm the one who sustains everything. So when I say something, it will be done or you won't breathe anymore. So, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a bottle myself. I ain't really got many, but I can get more. But I'm not gonna go out here and get a whole bunch of this stuff and be sitting around looking stupid because you guys are still dumb as hell and I, I really feel in my heart that that's the circumstances but it don't matter because when you guys do that dumb stuff again and those tornadoes go up there and rip up that Puget Sound and put that water and that wind on your ass then after that I'm really sure that you guys are going to do whatever the hell I tell you. But the sad thing is that you can do that now and avoid all that shit from even having to happen. Just think about that. So yeah, we're in a hotel and stuff. I 
going down there. I'm sorry. But I thought he had to go because he, he, had, he has things that he has to do. So this is a good time for the puppy puppy to be all scatless and sneaky. You know, I like to get it down. Because I want to tell you something. See, aside, he gets really far away. I know we got He shows me these pictures of his house that he lives in. And his house is like really big. Because he showed me the Empire State Building. And that's what I thought it was when I was looking at it. But then I looked really good. Then everything in the dark me that wasn't the Empire State Building. It was a common. Inside, inside, inside his house. What God? It was that big, like the empire. And I just couldn't believe it. So I asked him, so I said, no, come on. You can do it. Back. And he said, like, oh, come on, let's take a ride. And we just started flying. I mean, just flying. Just flying. Because it's like he said. You can fly, you know, and I can fly. And we were just flying, and we were flying, and he said, come on, I'm gonna take you in the backyard. And we kept flying past the house, and we were just flying past all of these columns. And I mean, each column was as big as the Empire State Building. And we just kept flying. And there was column after column after column after column after column after column. And we were flying, I think, for about two days. And we never made it to the backyard. I got tired. And he said, well, come on, we're almost there. It'll just only take us like about seven more months to get there. And I was like, no, no, because see, I don't want to go to the backyard of Saw because it's going to take forever and it's just pillar after pillar after pillar. And so I get the message when you say in your father's house there are many mansions, they didn't understand that what that meant was that a Saw is the manifestation of creation. Which means everything is his technically. And if you guys don't listen to him, he's gonna prove that to you by using his tornadoes to blow your asses up. So now listen, he's getting very impatient because he has work to do. Because there's little children that he was sent here to save. And that's what he really wants to do. So he's like the little baby over there crying and probably doesn't know that the grays are gonna probably eat him up if y'all don't let a saw do his job. The little baby gonna have a little apple with some carrots and some celery and some probably some water chestnuts and maybe some miracle whip on some white bread. Because everybody's not healthy like a saw, so they don't eat wheat bread. But if it's so healthy, vegan type and celery tickling gray he wouldn't be eating little babies anyway not what even okay so this is what we're gonna think about we're gonna think about how much money and how we're gonna pay for the green light now i told us that if one more tornado blows up this sh this shit poop hole of seattle that he could probably get a hundred dollars a bottle after that happened because other people would be all frantic and they would really understand because people are dull and they haven't gotten any yet he thinks so we're gonna just see we're gonna give it a little push just to see what happens but then after that he said he will charge a hundred dollars a month because everybody's gonna have jobs because all of the people are gonna get employed rebuilding seattle so money will just be everywhere okay i got to go peace and blessings Oh yeah, one more thing. I think I'm gonna try to get a sorry 
to sell this stuff for fifty dollars a bottle right now anyway because it'd be better if you buy it now for fifty dollars than wait till later to get it for a hundred dollars just think about it oh yeah peace blessings yeah so the story is that there was trouble in Egypt because there was evil people that was trying to establish a system of capitalism that had been amongst the masses and had been learning and it was just evil so the king kicked them out and when the king kicked them out they all left and they took the knowledges and for 50, 70 years they did nothing but build themselves up in numbers so they could go out with the new knowledge that they had learned and do 180 degrees of what was taught to them on how to be divine. And 180 degrees backwards of that was where you left off from being all super evil as hell. So they returned to being super evil. And now the world is built with their plan of destruction and consuming Rhythm. So all these cars and everything that you see right around out there are all designed just to get money from you. It's not even needed or necessary on earth because see, if people didn't have to work so much, you wouldn't really need cars. And then there wouldn't be so many concrete roads, which means there'd be more food growing. And the more food that's growing, I mean, they even destroyed all the rivers and everything to build. Now go figure. How do you have a river with all type of fish and everything in it and then you kill it to put a road there so cars can drive by? Come on, someone's stupid. No. See, they don't need sense. S-E-N-S-E, they need sense. C-E-N-T-S. That's why they do that. So now they destroyed the world with their quest for wealth. More wealth than they can even spend. So they have all this money sitting in the bank. And they've destroyed the world where nobody else can go anywhere or do anything. And then they have the nerves to walk around as if they're better than everyone. And deep inside there's some selfish, arrogant assholes who has fucked everything up. And the Tsar has every right to stick that green light right up there as if they don't buy a bottle. So it's not about trying to be arrogant or better or anything like that. It's just all about recognizing the time and the privilege that's in front of you to just give a genuine thanks and pay homage to the sun for once. After you done ran around forever paying homage to a dead ass white man that has not done anything but screwed everything up and gonna get your ass killed because you still want to hold on to that and the star is here and he's showing his true authenticity as the real original owner of this planet and he says I'm gonna kill all those people who does not be responsible for helping me repair the damage that they've done and he'll do it take my word on that and he'll use those tornadoes and he'll use that light that you see in the wires that's really a fire yeah and the puppy folks gonna help him too and he'll use uh, rocks and, and saliva and he will use uh, more rocks like that one see that little one right there and he'll probably stick that little one of someone's ass who made him mad, who wanted to think they were going to be starting 